Hey guys, how you doing today? I'm so excited about what we're going to talk about today. I know last week we talked about the light of day. Isn't that beautiful that God made the light? And that was beautiful. He made the daytime. He made everything about us being able to see. Well, today we're going to talk about God made the nighttime also. That's right. In the scripture we're going to read, remember it was in Genesis 1, we're going to meet read 14 through 18. It said, and God said, let there be lights, not just light, but lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from night. Hmm. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. That means you can take the days and the nights. You know how we, we, we live by a yearly calendar, 130, no, 360, hello somebody, 365 days a year. Yes, I do know this. That's right. Well, God made, and it says he made the seasons. So what are our seasons? Let's see. There's spring, summer, fall, and winter. What do all of those things give? Every single one of those things gives us, every single one of those seasons gives us things to live by. And he says, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth. So everything that's out there, remember we learned this last week, that everything that all the light out there gives light to where we live that we can appreciate. And God made two great lights, the greater light, which was the sun we learned last week, to rule by day, and the lesser light to rule by night. He made the stars also. So it wasn't just the moon that he made, he made the stars. Now, if you think about it, you really can't see the stars during the day. I don't, I've never seen stars during the day, no. You only see stars at night because the nighttime helps them. It reflects and it causes everything to still be able, you still can see things. See, it's not, it's not a light that you, or a darkness that you can't see, but God gave us light in the darkness. He gave us light in the nighttime. The night is lit up, not just with the moon, but we can see stars. Isn't that the greatest? I love God. There's nothing greater to me than to sit and watch stars. I loved, when I was a little girl, I used to lay in the grass outside of my house and I would just lay up there and I would look at all the pretty stars up there. How wonderful it is. I loved the nighttime when I was a little girl. I still love the nighttime, but I loved the nighttime was when I was a little girl because I would be out there and it would be so nice outside. And every everything around me, the, the little bugs were chirping. No, they weren't chirping, but you could hear like frogs. I lived near a, a pond and you could hear frogs. You could hear all sorts of things. You could things, see little bugs lighting. It's just the coolest thing. I love to hear the nighttime. Anyway, and it says, and God sent them to the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, to rule all the day and over the night, and to divide the light from darkness. And God, listen to me, and God saw that it was good. Remember, we're talking about God's creation here. God saw that it was good. Nighttime, it's not something that we have to be afraid of. What happens at night? Now, during the day, we can get out there and we can run. You can play on your playground. You can play on your bikes. You can play on your scooters. Whatever it is that you do, getting out there runs. And by the time you get to nighttime, you get a little, you're, you're about ready to, Oh, oh, sorry. I'm not at nighttime. I still, I forgot. I was still awake. I don't want to fall asleep here. Night is a time of the, of replenishing, which means putting more strength into us. It's like feed. It, when you eat, that replenishes your strength. It makes you get, you know, get. You're not hungry anymore, and it builds up your body. Well, the same thing happens at night, and it, it's a time to relax. It's. It's not only a convenience, but the but it's a necessity of life, it says. It's 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 important. 
even the plants and the animals know when it's nighttime, it's time to relax. Now, some animals will actually go at night and look for their food because they need to go hunting at night. And so they look at night instead of during the day. God made nighttime a beautiful time for us. He did. He made the moon and the millions of stars that shine make the night a special time. It's a time that we can see how beautiful God made the night. And God said it was good, he said. He said it was nothing to be afraid of, but he said it was good for us. How, ex how precious is that? That God's creation put, he spoke a word. I love this. He spoke a word and he put the moon and he put the sun up in the sky for us. And he separated those days. Sometimes in the daytime you can see the moon, but not like you can at night. The stars are there too, but you need the darkness to see them. I love God for that. God put the moon out there and he put the stars out there so that we could appreciate in our times of rest, we can appreciate what he did for us. I love that. You guys, have we're so lucky to have God in our lives and lucky to have Jesus living inside of us. And Jesus is our light. He actually lights us on the inside and causes us to enjoy everything there is out there for us. I love you guys. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. See that bubble? So, this is Lucy, and gum doesn't really make your breath extra fresh, but sometimes it really feels like it does. The most important thing for you to do really is brush your teeth in the morning and at night and take good care of your teeth. But anyway, that's not really what I'm here about today. I'm here because today it is National Fresh Breath Day. So, does my breath smell fresh? Because it is. Bye! Hey guys. hey guys! So today we are going to teach you a song about monkeys and an alligator. Are you ready, Shelly? I'm ready. All right, Let's you can go. start it. Okay. Five little monkeys swinging in the trees. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snatched that monkey right out of that tree. Four little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snatched that monkey right out of that tree. Three little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snatched that monkey right out of that tree. Two little monkeys swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snatched that monkey right out of that tree. One little monkey swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as could be. And snatch that monkey right out of that tree. No more monkeys. Hey guys. Hi. Hi! So today we have a different kind of drawing challenge. When the doorbell rings, you are going to start a drawing. You can draw whatever you would like. And then when I hit this again, and every time I hit it from here on out, you have to then pass your drawing to the person on your 
whatever direction they're pointing. Right. To me, it's your left, to you, it's your right. So every time I go like this, you're gonna pass it and you have to just carry on the drawing with wherever they left off. And if you have no clue what they were drawing, then it becomes your drawing to make of it what you will. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. So That's when cool. I click this, you're going to start. And you're done. All right. All right. Let's see your I pictures. I got the same one I got. That's good. That's oh, good. that's funny. You guys are oh, back yeah. to the ones you started with. Oh, yes. All right, Abby, tell us a little bit about yours. Okay. So I actually had nothing in mind when I drew. This is the first shape I drew. Um, but it became a bird who is saying hello to its baby. Aww. And the mother is in the nest, not the baby. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> She's sitting on eggs. Come, come, come on. Oh, okay. All right. She's sitting on some eggs oh, okay. and saying hi oh, to the baby. Okay. Come on. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm All sorry. right, Reverend Hamlin, explain yours. <laughs> Mine is a log home in the wilderness uh, underneath the, the, uh, the, 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 the mountains. And this little guy is um, flying down skiing. Nice. On the mountain. Okay. And that's a little path. Nice. And Shelly. <laughs> Mine is a man that's hiking up a mountain and he gets to the flagged area. On the top, he has a walking stick in his hand. There's some birds and sunshine and clouds. What was that supposed to be in the beginning? She has no idea. I was going to start off drawing a car. You only gave me two seconds. You were drawing a car? Yeah, I was. <laughs> All right. Good job. Hold them up one more time. I, I, and you know what I would have said? I would have said... He he went to Mars. He made it to, and he, he made it to Mars. The flag. <laughs> yeah, and he's 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 holding he's Everest. holding the backpack. Now if he's got a backpack, got the backpack and a walking stick. See, I thought this was an apple tree, and that's a bushel of apples. There. This one, this is beautiful. Yeah, so that's a, those are, <laughs> that's a basket of perfect. apples. Perfect. It goes along with see? my with whole the mountain with the steam. <laughs> yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.